Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well today we're going to do another catch and cook video. I've been, been asked by a lot of you guys in the comments section to please do a red snapper catch and cook, so we're going to do one today guys. I'm not going to do a cleaning section in this video because I've already done a red snapper cleaning before, so I'll put a link in that area so when you go, you can go check out that video, see how you clean a red snapper, but it's pretty much just like you clean any other fish. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do my version of Long John Silver's fried fish. It's a batter, a couple little things you got to do to it, and it tastes so close. It's not even funny. And I know it's not the exact recipe, but man, it tastes close, real close. So real quick, guys, check out these clips of us catching some red snapper, and I will see you guys in the kitchen. That's a big one. Come here, sir. In between your legs and then grab it. Ah! Come on. Real, real girl, real. Real. That's a big snapper. Grab it now. Summer is hooked up, guys. You got this, girl. I got you. Don't stop reeling. That's a big one, baby girl. That is a good one. All right. Oh my God. Get him, baby. Okay. Oh All righty. Wow. Summer. Oh. High five, kid. <laughs> Way to go, Yay, Summer. Yay, Summer. Right. That's a good size one. Yes, I didn't get any footage on this. No. <laughs> I'm going to catch another one then. <laughs> <sighs> Right. You can keep this snapper. Hey, you'll get one. This summer's red, red snapper, yeah. y'all. High five, kid. That's, so big. That's her biggest red snapper. Get him, dude. Get him. Somebody here, hold on. Somebody. Oh, is that what you thought you had? Reeled in, Ryan, reel in. That was that on you? Yeah. Ryan thought he had one. He did? <laughs> hey, that's my fish. <laughs> nice! Nice, nice man. fish, Mike. Heck yeah. That's a good, that's a stud. That was on a livey. Here, I got it. Woo! You get a picture. Giant. That's what I'm talking about. Blood on the back. Got it, dude? No, it's the one I need. Oh, yeah. Is there ice in there already, Dave? That's no. a big boy right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Just put him on the deck right now, babe. You're good. There we go, guys. Woo! All right. That's a good one. I didn't realize they had stripes like picture, that. Man. There you go. All right, Jay Rockers. So we're in the kitchen now. And this is the ingredients we're going to need for this Long John Silver style fried fish. Now this is not the exact recipe for Long John Silver's. This is my version of it. It works pretty good. It tastes really similar, but it does not taste exact, but it's really, really good and you guys will like it. All right, so what we're going to need is we're going to need one and a half cups of ginger ale soda. We're going to have to heat that up and I'll show you that in the video. We're going to need one and a half cups of flour, all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of cornstarch, 
This is regular old cornstarch. There it is. Right there. And then we're going to need half teaspoon of baking soda, which is what we got right here. And then we're also going to need some salt. And we're going to need one half, a half teaspoon of baking powder. This stuff right here. So that's the stuff we're going to need, guys. Just a few ingredients you're going to have to go to the store and get if you don't have it already in your pantry. And we're going to get to cooking, y'all. Alright, Jody Rockers. Well, I got my red snapper all cut up here. And as you see, they're a lot bigger pieces than I normally do when I fry fish. And uh, we got that all set up. We also have all our dry ingredients in this bowl here. And we also have our ginger ale. And right before we go to mix this up, we're going to heat this ginger ale for one minute. And we're not going to use a, as high a heat as we usually use at 375 on the oil. We're going to cook it about 320 to 340 because if you go to 375, you'll burn this batter up. It'll turn brown and it won't taste as good. So let the oil get up to temperature and we'll start mixing everything. All right, guys. Well, I heated up my ginger ale in the microwave for one minute. And see how it's foaming up like that? That is what you want to see do. That is what the reaction that you want. So now you're just going to go in here and you're just going to mix all this up. All that bubble is what you want. All that fizzing. This is actually the most important step of this whole process, to be honest with you. If you don't heat up, heat up that uh, ginger ale, it will not do this. Alright guys, well I got about the consistency that I want. It's about like that. Pretty good. Alright, well let's start battering up some fish. We got uh, the right temperature on the fry daddy. So we are good to go. Alright. This process does make a mess. So be prepared. Have a little bit of mess on your hands. Go ahead and just put it in there, get it all nice and coated. Like that, let it drip. And right into your grease. Do another nice thick piece. There we go. Looking pretty good. Alright, guys, I had to break out the light because it was a pretty dark casting a shadow so that's what we're looking for right there and sometimes it will stick on the bottom of here so you need to get a fork and kind of pull it off a little bit there we go it's looking pretty good let this cook for a little bit longer we'll be able to take you right, guys we got this out a little bit got my oil just a little bit too hot it's got a little darker than I needed it to be so we're gonna turn that down a little bit and we get the little crunchies just like you do at Long John Silver's and and Summer loves these things, so I keep all these separate for her. There we go. Alright, not looking too bad, y'all. Alright, we're going to do another battering here, because the other, other ones were so dark. Alright, we got it nice and coated just like that, guys. Let it drip. And put it in here. There you go. Try to keep it off the grate the much, much as you can because it will stick then you gotta get a fork in there and get that all out that one looked up pretty good let's see if we can do this one again alright that's pretty good let's see if we can get one more in here alright you're gonna get it everywhere guys it's gonna be all over your fryer all over the counter. I've tried it so many times and I still make a mess. Alright guys, I dropped my oil down to 320 and that's looking a lot better. That's kind of the color, just a little bit more golden than that is the color that you're looking for, but not dark like these other ones were. So sometimes you gotta adjust your oil because you can burn up this batter pretty quick. Alright guys, these ones are ready. A lot better color this time. got the little crunchies that Summer absolutely loves. Ooh, looking a lot better. 
we go, guys. Save these crunchies. Summer will absolutely be mad at me if I don't. Alright, guys. I got the last batch done here. Man, does that not look awesome? I had a nice pile of crunchies over here, but the crunchy monsters have already hit me. Already got most of the crunchies that I had. But look at this, guys. Doesn't that look like a piece of Long John Silver's fish? Except this isn't cod. This is red snapper, y'all. Alright guys, well I got all the fish done. I got some tater tots cooking now. So I'm going to get a piece real quick. I'm going to go sit down on the couch. We're going to taste this out. See how it goes. Alright, Jetty Rocker, so here I am. Here's my piece of fish. Looks very similar to Long John Silver's fish. We're going to go ahead and listen to that crunch. Oh boy. There you go. Guys, it tastes <laughs> wow. That's all I can say to you. Oh, crap. It tastes so close that it's not even funny. I mean, seriously. If I was to go and put this in a box with some french fries and told you it was Long John Silver's, you'd say, okay. You wouldn't even question it. It's that close. It is outstanding, guys. I mean, wow. You got to try this recipe. You guys got to try it. In the beginning of the recipe, I gave you all the measurements for everything. In the beginning of the video, rather. Give you all the measurements for the recipe. So go and check that out at the beginning of the video. Write it down and try this. And if I can think about it when I'm doing the video, I'll put it down, the recipe down in the uh, description at the bottom of the video. You guys can check it out there. But this is outstanding. This is the one recipe on my Catch and Cooks I challenge each and every one of you all to try. I challenge all of you guys. Give this a shot. This is excellent. You will not regret it. Basically what it is, just a combination of a couple of different recipes that I've tried that said, hey, it tastes just like um, Ron John Silver's. You see it on the internet or on YouTube. I've taken a couple of different ones, taken what I liked out of it, put it together, and this is what I came up with, and it is fantastic. It's awesome. All right, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight and cooking this fish and eating this fish with me. Until I get to see you guys again on the water here soon, tight lines, Jetty Rockers, and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And a thumbs up is always appreciated, y'all. Tight lines, guys. Hey, Jerry Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page, the Jerry Rocks Fishing, and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF Apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page, where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jerry Rockers.